how helpful are acne patches really? So we're going to start out and we're going to actually start out with a decent study. And the reason why I think this is decent is because they use a hydrocolloid patch as the comparative bench, which is, I think, just levels a playing field. And if you guys don't know what that means, it means this is the control. They want to Mm -hmm. beat this cell that this group that they're going to use um, the hydrocolloid patch for. So in this clinical, it's a split face Mm -hmm. and they had 49 subjects. They pulled subjects that had mild to moderate acne. And what they want to do is they wanted to test their own proprietary aloe based gel patch versus their standard Nexcare 3M hydrocolloid patch. Okay. Which is a sure. classic. I think if you like don't know what to yeah. choose from or yeah. if you don't want anything jazzy, this is that really boring, but probably does the job patch. Yes, exactly. So in terms of the protocol, they actually tested these patches for 11 days. They use it overnight. They had subjects apply it from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. So it's roughly 10 hours for 11 days. So um, from that, they wanted to look at things like um, the median time to resolve the inflammatory acne, the diameter of the lesion, erythema, and the lightness score. Um, So we'll share the results here. And you can see we're actually not going to pay too much attention to their aloe gel based patch. Um, We really want to just look at the simple hydrocolloid patch here. In terms of median time to resolution for the hydrocolloid patch, that took them six days to see statistically significant difference. Uh, Mm -hmm. And by the 11th day, 81.6% of this group had recovered from their lesion. I don't know why. I just feel very whelmed with the data. <laughs> like it's like that's cool. Is that impressive having that kind of data in like eleven <laughs> days? <laughs> I don't know if that's what people are expecting with patches. Yeah. I'm really glad you feel this way, Gloria, because I think that is the truth. Um, mm-hmm. I think anybody who has acne would know that eleven days. I think that's typically how long it takes for the acne to typically resolve. And I think the thing to keep in mind here is I do want to show they um, did a comparison to show the mean diameter, the Mm -hmm. erythema score, as well as the mean lightness score. Mm -hmm. And you can see, like, in terms of the grade of difference, uh, I would say, like, it's it's how acne lesions go um i think what was interesting is maybe that the uh the hydrocolloid patch um was slightly better in terms of the lightness score Mm -hmm. but generally that's i think what it can do is and you'll see this as like a theme as we go through the testing is that it looks like visually it could help, but in terms of actually reducing, eliminating the breakout, it seems like, at least from this study alone, that it's not, this is not what stickers are for. And just to clarify, this is truly, I, I think the study for us, it's important to highlight because we're not talking about a whole regimen. This isn't being used with a BPO mm-hmm. or cell acid or anything like that. This is really truly just looking at these patches yes. and what they do. And we'll put up some, the, the study came with some before and after pictures. We'll put it mm-hmm. up on the screen if you're watching. You will see in the hydrocolloid only group, again, we're not focusing on the one with actives built into the, the patch. One. Yeah. It's the bottom one. And you're like, hum <laughs> i just think between I, I think if you cover up the caption if you tell me to pick what is before what is after i don't think i can tell you because like in terms of acne severity the number of lesions yeah. the retinas visually they look very on par yeah and i i do want to say so the way this study is designed is they actually chose like three of the biggest lesions on the face and then mm-hmm. that's the ones that they were to apply the stickers on because um and the other thing is these subjects have pretty uh i would consider moderate scenarios this is a pretty Mm -hmm. significant acne breakout and Mm -hmm. um i wish that in these photos they could mark 
where the stickers were placed so that we right. make sure that we know what we're looking at. But I think generally you see by the end of it, a reduction of redness. Who knows, like in, let's say, a little bit more time passed in terms of the healing of it, you know, does it actually improve um, that healing phase? We don't know, but um, I think you can see like visually maybe some redness has been like toned down. And I think that's truly the real, uh, the reality of these acne patches. But actually, yeah. I think that's a good point because a big thing about these um, dressings to cover it up is yes, it's supposed to, the, the water-based gel on the inside is supposed to help keep it in a healing friendly environment and everything else. But I almost feel like it's, biggest job is to keep your own pesky fingers from poking at it all day long yeah but let's look at another study this study is different in that now it's the opposite they are going to be testing a hydrocolloid acne patch versus simple skin tape okay so um in this scenario it's small subject of 20 and they're going to be using this tape for a week and The weird thing about this protocol is that um, I couldn't pull the true details of the study, but Mm -hmm. I think what is happening because of the way they're using the skin tape as well is they're occluding the area for most of the time. Um, Mm. They because one of the cryptic things they wrote is they reapply the hydrocolloid tape every two days, so. Mm. Yeah, so I think that's an inclusion is what it sounds like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In terms of what they saw, they Mm -hmm. saw a statistically significant greater reduction was observed over a period of three to seven days in overall severity of acne and inflammation in the acne dressing group compared to skin tape. Mm -hmm. Um, They also mentioned that they saw a greater improvement in terms of redness oiliness, dark pigmentation, and sebum level at day three, five, and seven. So they did see a difference. Now, the degree of improvement, we don't really know. I'm going to assume it's not huge. I'm going to assume right now. <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, I feel like they wave it on a banner, put it in the abstract, and like just <laughs> scream on top of the mountain if it's big. Like, oh my God, look at us go. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, so... Uh, I think, like, overall, though, they did see that a hydrocolloid patch compared to just simply, I don't know, putting a tape, saran wrapping your face, like, is better. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we at least have a study to prove that, hey, um, there is a market for buying these dressing. <laughs> don't just cut out a circle from saran wrap and just stick it on your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but I do like that, you know, they're looking at things like redness, dark pigmentation. I think those kind of visual cues um, is what more I expect a patch to do is really uh, maybe help reduce the look of the acne mark, make, maybe mm-hmm. reduce how angry it might look. But I just don't mm-hmm. think it's like I said, in the pr- going back to the previous study, it's not going to be eliminating a major breakout. So um we're gonna go through one more study but i just Mm want to pause really quick here and just have a quick summary takeaway of what we have so far so right now it seems like we need about a week's worth of application to really see a true improvement in the breakout i have a question (laughs) yeah i have a question okay on the market and, and and guys if you have listened to us for some time you know that i have dry skin i don't really have a lot of acne or deal with this stuff constantly but I feel like these patches are not necessarily marketed or positioned as something that you need to keep using. It's almost yes. like you use it in a pinch. So this whole yeah. like, wait, hold on, you need to use it for how many days straight thing? That's kind of news to me. <laughs> yes, and that is such a good point. I think like people feel like this is supposed to really like help eliminate, you know, mm-hmm. um, this is going to take care of that one that you feel like is like coming, it's going to be angry and you've got like, yeah you know, something coming down the pipeline, a big event or something. And that, mm-hmm. yeah, it's just not, it, it feels like a quick fix. And this yeah. is really seen more as a more lengthy treatment scenario. Um, so that's such a good point. And the other thing is also, they mentioned like, by about day three, you might be able to reduce the look 
that doesn't mean completely heal. So I think mm-hmm. those are like generally some of the time points of when you can start seeing benefit here, which feels a little different than maybe how you imagine you're going to use your patches, which is just like, I'm going to use it for the day. Like kind of thing. Right. Yeah. right. Okay. Exactly. All right. So that's where we are. Now, obviously, this field doesn't have a lot of studies, but mm-hmm. I think the next thing that really should be addressed is micro needle patches. So, yes, right. The general feel is, OK, if these aren't actually treating, then should mm-hmm. I use one that has micro needling? Yeah, right. Loaded with actives. So in this study, and I think micro needle was like all the rage for a little bit actually i feel like at this point it's probably a solid five years ago yeah. i think they there are a lot of talks in um in the anti-aging realm having these patches deliver anti-aging actives and then they i think it really hit the stride in the acne realm so you'll hear about some patches that's loaded with cell acid or other soothing ingredients and this test looked at one of those patches and these microneedle patches are loaded with 3% salicylic acid. So a lot. It's supposed to deliver it straight to skin and at, at an even higher level than just OTC 2% cab. Uh, and 2% Asiatica side, just a friendly reminder, that is one of the active components of Centella Asiatica extract. If you're curious what that does, you can refer back to our Centella episode. Anyway, these people use it for 28 days. Which, again, is a lot longer than I want to be using these patches. Um, But what's kind of interesting is it's applied for just 90 minutes at a time. Mm -hmm. Um, And I'm just going to read through the results really quickly. Acne volume, which is pretty cool. They probably use the imaging software to to measure the acne volume, was reduced by 12.34% after three days, which, again, I'm... (laughs) Wait, hold on. Is that visually whelming? <laughs> like, it doesn't, I would expect an acne to go down by 12. Like, as long as it's not on the upswing, it should be dipping anyway. But <laughs> I digress. <clears throat> After three days of patch use, acne volume was reduced by 12.34% and further reduced by 10, 10, 10, 10.01% after seven continuous days of use. After 28 days of treatment, Skin melanin decreased by 5.88%. And HIMI, or this is the measurement of redness, decreased by 7.83%. Well, well, no adverse reaction was observed in any of the participants. So um, the results of all the clinicals we've done this podcast, this is definitely one of them. <laughs> it's like all I got from this study. <laughs> Um, And I think you'll like this, Gloria. Um, The conclusion that they came to in their paper is these patches show good efficacy, including improvement of skin pigmentation and reduced acne volume. All right, guys, we didn't we didn't do this part in our homework before this episode, but I really wanted to pull up a just cell acid topical study to show Mm. that. Maybe just wash your face with yes. cell acid. We'll do the we'll do very similar things. Exactly. <laughs> yes, it truly shows that topicals are going to carry you so much further yeah. than trying to use micro needling patches. I mean, yeah. one more, maybe one more study. I think if they really wanted to like go for broke, try to get a really good claim, is maybe do a regimen of topicals and then have the microneedling patch or or a sticker really on top of that to see that added benefit because that's truly what these patches are this is going to be a true support product here we're not you're not going to be replacing your topicals anytime soon hopefully yeah i i think for me i didn't expect miracles per se but the way these studies are positioned are still kind of surprising to me that they are so like (laughs) Meh. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but I do want to mention that these micro needling gel patches, the quality can vary far and wide in between. And Victoria and I, I think we talked about this a thousand years ago when we yeah. get asked about anti aging patches. It's just that at home, like how deep they really go, do they really work, like the shape of it, the integrity of the production, all that plays a role. And with home use, you just 
don't really know and in the entire aging world honestly like we haven't seen data that like makes us feel good about buying buying them for home use like i rather just go into office and get an actual micro needling session so yeah. to me that's like kind of how i feel here too is with this data it doesn't feel like they're contributing much to enhancing active delivery i mean they're using a pretty high level of cell acid yes. you know so eh. <laughs> no i think that's the, that's the best takeaway here is is for us we generally feel like you don't need to reach for a microneedling patch compared to the general simple acne patches here it just doesn't seem like there's enough evidence here to say that this is really going to move the needle for your breakout and really we should summarize all this data in saying one it's truly just manager expectations on what this can do mm -hmm. i think to me personally Putting the data aside, after using patches for this episode, I am very much a face toucher, especially when it comes to acne breakouts. And we can mm -hmm. talk about this more in the next um, segment where we actually talk about the different types of stickers. But I, I think that if anything, it is the best guard against myself like that's yeah, truly yeah. What, what these stickers are for and um i think well I, the one thing i am curious about and maybe this is for a future study is just i i don't think anyone's gonna get the budgets for us but i'd love to know does the healing process improve because you're actually occluding way better than probably you typically are yeah okay. i generally would like to know how this if an acne patch truly helps with the healing process of an acne lesion better than mm -hmm. a typical regimen um but other than that i think that's a summary we're gonna talk about products in the next summit but let's take a break <laughs> 